Hello and welcome to Ape Animation Tutorials. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to animate the BB-8 rig. This is like the animation that you can kind of achieve. So if you have issues like loading the textures, you might have to go to Windows, General Editors, I think, and then File Path Editor. And here, this is where you can repath the textures if you're missing anything. You just click on it and then repath files and browse and search for where the textures are located. And then you just repath and then uh, Maya should automatically pick up the other ones because they're all in the same folder but if that doesn't happen then you might have to go through each one one by one. If they're not showing up you might just have to press 6 on your keyboard or something. So 5 is just a shaded display, 6 is with the texture maps and 7 is the lighting of your scene. To move the rig, you use the locator, which is located down the bottom here, which is this green control. So, for example, I want him to begin here. I hit S on my keyboard and then make him move forward to about here or something. And I might also adjust the easing of this so that it's not an even kind of, you know, path. So I might go to animation editors and then the graph editor. And he is moving along the Z axis. So this is what I concentrate on. And then once you animate that, you can click on this red control, this there's two red controls. One controls the rotation of the head, like this. Pressing F on the keyboard centers the camera on whatever you're working with, so that's a useful kind of tool. Um, we just click on this outer red circle, hit S on our keyboard, and then let's see where he kind of moves in a bit. So. You kind of judge, like, okay, how far does it rotate? So that might be a bit too much. So I bring it back a little bit. And then, you know, you kind of estimate, like, how many rotations it takes from one, like, point A to B. And then you rotate it that many times and see... Let's try 360. That might be a little too many rotations. So I might dial that back to 280 or something. And you pretty much just keep going until you end up with something that you like, you know? And we might make this say 300 and press S on that. I would go into much more detail and get really precise with this, but that looks pretty okay in my opinion. And after when you animate something like this, you can go back, see how his patterns are kind of in line with his head, it's kind of linear and it's kind of robotic. So what we can do is click on this inner control here, this gray kind of adjust orientation control. This gray, it's hardly visible, but it's here, this gray control. 
and you can rotate it in any direction that you want and kind of break up the patterns a bit and make it feel a bit more organic and now it kind of um, rotates based on the patterns that you've adjusted so at any point in time you can go in and reorientate the patterns any way you like and the kind of sphere will still rotate along the red control so that's a pretty cool thing that's just the body now we can go back and animate some overlapping action or secondary action with the head just before he starts to move I might make his head move forward he anticipates so he kind of anticipates the movement just before he starts to move he might move his head forward so it depends on whether his body is moving faster than his brain or his brain is in control of his body so let's just say his body is moving faster than his head you know so his head would move back a bit this would be overlapping action so secondary action would be something like if you're in control of your body you know his head would move forward you know because he's directing his body to move that way but let's say his body is moving faster than his head and then he kind of slows down a bit like this so I'm just hitting S on my keyboard and maybe his head goes back just a little bit let's just make him look around like all curious and stuff so selecting the red control I just rotate the head it depends on how you want it to rotate like smoothly or like robotic-y Just gonna make it move like this. Can just make him move side to side for random reason. I don't know, he looks like he's in some kind of panic. And if you want to go further and add a bit more detail after when I animate the head I just go in and start animating the antennas so I might start with one antenna and start thinking about the physics of it so it starts here and then you know his head is moving forward so this would move back a little bit and then it would gradually follow through and it just adds a bit more um, realism to the animation and here I would like make it just add a bit more frames and make it wobble or something like that but just as an example you can see like you can add the little extra movement if you wanted to and then I go back and do the same kind of thing with the antenna on the other side and then after when you've done that you can like with version 3.0 you can go in and add blinking lights so this thing over here adjusts all the lights around his body and his head so the top part is for his head the bottom part is for his body so the red um, kind of controls controls or the red light on his body and the blue kind of controls control or the blue light on his body so for the lights I recommend using step tangents so what I mean by that is going to an, into your animation editor your graph editor and then selecting stepped um, tangents which is this one so for example right now it's linear tangents so you can see the light it just changes in between it changes in between the kind of um, keyframes there 
So um, you select everything and then go stepped. And it doesn't change in between the keyframes, it just changes um, on the keyframe. Um, BB-8 can do a lot more than just, you know, roll around on the ground, like on a straight path. Um, you can make him move in a curved path, you can make him go in a half pipe and jump up and stuff. You can do all of that stuff. Something else that I didn't really like touch on is how you can scale BB-8. So um, even though you've animated this, uh, you can just clear out these frames. So I'll just delete these so that there's no keyframes on that. And if you go to the scale option and select object instead of world, I, I suggest doing that before you start animating. You can go back and kind of um, squash BB-8 into like a flat pancake and um, he will still move based on whatever you animated. So this is a little something extra that you can do with BB-8. You can also squash him this way and he will still move in that flat kind of shape. So that's if you want to add a bit more tuniness to BB-8 um, and a bit more of a 2D kind of thing. You can do that. Um, BB-8 can squash down like this as well, so he's totally flat. You know, that's what you can do. Some other stuff that you can do is detach his head from his body and his body from the locator and stuff. It's not as flexible as I would want it to be, but you can move BB-8 over here and say if you want his head to drop off um, what you do is select the red control here and then on the kind of channel box editor you select the highlighted attributes and right click and go unlock selected and then go unlock selected so that kind of like breaks his head away from his body and now you can move his head away from his body and like make it fall off his body or something. I'll include the link in the description for you to download it and I hope you have fun animating this rig.